Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Clone Wars, you guys. I'm still in shock from last week. I still like, I feel like we really cross a line with the show in so many ways. I don't think I could quite like crystallize it last week, but I'm going to try to when I briefly tell you my thoughts on the last episode that I watched. But first, I just want to say, if you are joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, all right, guys. Last episode of Clone Wars. Um, just visually and like something about the ambiance, like cinematically, I guess. It just really felt on par with like a movie. Um... And I think that's part of what made it feel like so, like, this is not your average story. This is not your average. Um, and not that even, like, the average episodes are, like, you know, bad in any way. But it just, it felt like I was watching something extra special. Um, I started out this arc saying, I don't know what's going to happen to Satine. I don't know what's going to happen with this whole, you know, story. I kind of have an idea of like where things land with Mandalore, but I don't kind of because when I was watching where I got that info from, I kind of had no context for it. So I think a lot of it is just like I can't really remember or I don't really, um, I didn't put together like where it was coming from uh, because I, I had not seen Clone Wars or I, I had not seen this part of Clone Wars yet, obviously. <laughs> a couple of years ago um so but I still just did not expect it I just did not I guess I should have expected it because we know most of the individuals in the story do not get a happy ending at the end of this particular story everything turns out okay in the end like the end end but um you know, where we land kind of at the end of the prequels is not a happy place for anyone, really. And things definitely get shaken up. Um, so I guess I should have expected that, like, things might go this way. But it still just, like, really took me aback. And even during the episode, I'm like, wait, is is there going to be, like, a like a twist that, like, she's not really dead? But then I don't know how you fake getting stabbed by the Darksaber. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know. That would be quite a feat. If that's what actually happened, then I would love to be walked through that process because... Last time I checked, you get stabbed with a lightsaber. <laughs> it's a pretty cut and dry process, no pun intended. Um, but yeah, so uh, one thing that people pointed out to me after um, last week's reaction came out was um, this episode really solidified Obi-Wan as like the ideal Jedi for a lot of people because even after losing someone he cared so deeply for, like Satine, you know, he wouldn't turn to the dark side. He wouldn't give in to anger. He, um, you know, he just, I'm sure he feels horrible, but um, he kept going. And, um, you know, I guess, I guess maybe comparatively speaking to some other individuals on the show, I guess he handled it a little bit more like the ideal Jedi would. You know, I'm not saying like anyone's going to freak out after um, they lose a loved one, but, you know, I guess the Jedi in particular, because of all the power, have to be very careful. That does not go out of balance um, while they're grieving or angry or upset. Um, so, yeah, guys, on top of that, um, we had this epic scene where Palpatine comes in and is like, I hear you're planning on trying to rule the galaxy. Let me show you what I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> or rule one part of it anyway. He's like, you are not part of my plan. I have no idea what he's planning on doing to Maul, but it can't be good. And we also lost Savage. Um, I think it's a Savage story I've always known is very, very sad. Um, we actually got to see his origin. Um, people pointed out to me that Maul also like had a similar backstory. Like, a lot of the things that happened to him were beyond his control that brought him to this point. Like, even just, I feel like somebody told me, like, he became, like, he did not become a Sith of his own volition or whatever. Um, kind of in the same way we saw, you know, Savage almost, like, um, 
at things being beyond his control during the whole like Night Sisters arc. Um, so that's really sad, and that sucks. Um, and it was sad to see his reaction to Savage, to losing his brother. Um, but in that moment, I was still so wrapped up in Satine that I could not feel sorry for Maul. Like, I just could not bring myself to. It is very, very sad, though. And it's just, it's all around sad. It was an all around sad story. And, uh, and we, of course, we learned that Bogotan is Satine's sister, which I was like, <laughs> I had kind of like guessed about during the episode when she mentioned sister. I'm like, let me think of the other only other female character we've seen recently. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, sadness all around, but great, great, great story. Um, I have no idea where they're going with it now. I'm still kind of holding out hope that maybe, but even if Satine is alive, like I mentioned last time, my little silly fantasy about like her and Obi-Wan getting together after, you know, there is no more Jedi Order. And it's like, I just don't think, I don't, I don't think we were ever headed for, I, I don't think that's in the cards. I think the next part of the story is the low point. You know what I mean? Like as with life, as with any story, it's kind of ebbs and flows. And, you know, we all know that what takes place at the end of the prequels, um, leads us to the sadder part of what's going on in the galaxy and then we pick back up with a new hope so such is life such is star wars um all right guys really can't wait to see what's gonna happen i just i love the way this story is being told um i just love how it feels don't love everything that's happening obviously because i really loved satine but um but i'm down with with the way that they're telling it um so without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and jump right in to the next episode of Clone Wars. Let's go. Punch a hole for the gunships to get through. I know the drill, Master. She's like, I, I this is not my first radio. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Look out, incoming missiles. Oh poop. No problem. <laughs> He's like, come on now. This is me we're talking about. Uh, slight problem. Little problem. Spoke too soon. I've got buzz droids. How bad did you get hit? I'm all clear. What? You always have it easy, Snips. <laughs> I don't know. I can think of some times when she didn't have it easy. Just keep watching and learning, Battle One. <laughs> oh, oh, um, you it's sure about that? Smoke. What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing serious. Just a small malfunction. Oh, Anakin, babe. Oh, wow. Oh, no. That's... Master? He's... Master, come in. He's out. He's out for the count. R2 is like, oh no! Friend! Fly back to the cruiser. So she can speak the bee boops as well? I mean there's something wrong with the engines. Tip your wing. I'll see how bad it is. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. There's a... Can you land the ship on that cliff ledge? If anyone can do it, it's R2. if the landing zone is too short. Get that ship on the ground. Yeah. Maybe it'll smush the things. Somebody has to save his skin. <laughs> Look at that so good. She's like, she, she's gonna, of course, of course she's gonna jump. She's gonna jump. She's gonna jump. This girl has no fear. Oh, Ahsoka, you are truly his Padawan. Are we really gonna do this? We're really gonna do this. Ow. Oh man, he's out. He's out. She's like, don't worry, I'm here, I'm here. R2's like, oh crap. <gasps> oh, oh. R2! R2! R2, get out of there! R2, get... Where's R2? R2! R2! No! I know he's alright. I know he's alright. Yeah, there we go. There we go. He's like, did you think that was gonna take me out? <laughs> he's laughing at you! Man. How did I get here? About the fight. I saved the day. You're welcome. That's pretty much it. It's a good summation. He's like, I've trained her well. Oh, right. I love the two of them. I love Dr. the two Rex, of them. Important it is, Skywalker. Does this have Bond, to do with the temple hangar? Someone has. Oh. Your assistance to find the terrorist. We need. Who could successfully bomb the Jedi Temple? You're right there, Master. Palpatine. <laughs> we have to look at the possibility that it could have been anyone in the temple. Even oh, the Jedi. It's inside if Jedi. the Jedi is it? I still hear the screams. Do you believe what they said, Master? That a Jedi could do this? Uh... Not every Jedi agrees with this war, Ahsoka. There are many political idealists among us. 
But a traitor. I'm afraid one can eventually become the other. I I don't remember Count Dooku and General Krell. That's how they started too. Krell. Call me analysis name Russo ISC. Crime scene analyzer for the Jedi. He's a detective your Padawan on this case. He's a detective Jordan. I'm assigned by I would rather interview the witnesses alone. Why? Um, Many of the wounded have heard rumors a Jedi was behind this explosion. So they don't want Jedi interaction. Toward you. Okay. Well, that does make a degree of I sense. I think you everything seemed normal. Okay. Is it true a Jedi might be responsible for the attack? What if it's somebody trying to make Wouldn't it look like a Jedi is responsible? Point. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that serve some agendas it's in this war? I believe it was Jakar Bomani. Jakar Who? Bomani. Who is Jakar? One of the maintenance crew in the hangar. Why do you think it was him? Why? What? Have you seen him since the explosion? No. No. Truthfully, I didn't see much of anything after the explosion. I don't know what is happening here, but I just feel like there's a lot more to it. But the rumor about it being a Jedi is growing, Ahsoka. I can feel the anger and confusion throughout the Jedi Temple. So uh, someone did this. We're someone did this on purpose. Well, it had to be well planned out to get past Jedi. I'll talk to security. Oh, uh, sweetie pie, you have no idea how much it's gotten past the Jedi at this point. I love you, but <laughs> yeah, no. If you see him, alert me immediately. Huh? That is Jakar. You know oh, this man? Uh oh. He is my husband. Oh crap. I'm trying to reach him since I heard of an explosion. Where is he? I need you to come with me. I uh, guys, I just I just I just don't I just don't think it's as simple. You are a Jedi and you cannot find him? It's a lot of animosity I for the Jedi right now. I, that's don't. no coincidence. Just find your car. Somebody uh, did this. Do you think Jakar dedicated his life to serving the Jedi. It had been his dream. Not just anyone can walk into your precious temple. He passed all the entry tests that were needed. It's a big deal. You don't I just had to ask. Jakar would never do anything like this. Please. Maybe someone him. framed him, or maybe I. Oh man. Maybe Jakar planned to do this and just kept quiet. Or. Or. He actually, was a Jedi. Yeah. I found something. What did you find? Anomaly. They are covered with microscopic droids of a highly volatile nature. Nano droids. Nano droids. Yes. That would be why there's so no bomb residue if it was the car got his hands on these nano droids. Nano droids blew up. He's a munitions expert. Shakar uh. was the foreman over all the gunships, bombs and weapons. His specialty was nano weaponry. Oh, got to find maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it is. Or maybe somebody was using him. I'll gather some Jedi and search the temple. If he's still here, he might be planning another attack. Instead of Jedi, I have droids. I can do the job much faster. It's like, I don't want any Jedi involved here. Thank you very much. Well then, guys, I just, I just have so many theories about this. It is imperative that the truth be found soon. There are yeah. whispers that the Senate will have a meeting to decide whether the military police will need to become involved in the investigation. They can't do that. And it's becoming political. Isn't that clones convenient? Yeah. Maintenance clones working on the gunships as well as civilians. The Senate tends to take notice of these things. Yep. No matter where they happen. Yeah. Guys, this, this is no. This is no That's coincidence. <laughs> what? Huh? Where is he? Uh oh. Part of him is. Oh no, he blew up. I don't think That's. Now is a good time to joke. This is all that remains. Oh. Of oh. Someone's gonna have the to tell his of wife. Exploded. Exploded. Because he was so close to the bomb. Because he was the bomb. He was the bomb. What? What's this? Who would go in and do that? The nano droids. Nano droids are in him. his bloodstream. He didn't. Well, this just keeps getting better. He better. didn't have it, guys. Somebody did this to him. Have to search Jakar's home for evidence. Oh God, his poor wife. Oh my God, guys. This is. Oh man, this is like some, mm, some, some mystery crime drama stuff. Huh? Oh, there's a big armored door. 
Okay. Oh god. Also, go be careful. I guess it's just a regular door. It looks armored because it's like a Star Wars door. Guys, it's 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 what What was that? That was like a clone with a slasher. Oh dear god. The sensors are picking up traces from the disposal. The nano droids. The nano droids. Well, I guess the question now is, did he eat them willingly, or did someone feed them to him? That, now what we're thinking. Here? Now we're thinking. We've learned Jakar was involved in the bombing. That can't be true. See if she has any nanodroids on her, Ahsoka. Oh, dear God. But they did find a nano clone with a slash through it. She's clean. What, what is happening? Nanodroids. We believe someone set Jakar up and made him the bomb. Uh, is this their understand. way of breaking it Lilla, to her that I'll her husband's dead? Maybe you can help us make sense out of all of this. I'll answer any question I can. Oh, God. Please tell me that's not how they broke it to her that her husband was dead and blown up brutally. Oh, she's getting away. She's getting away. Well, okay, so there really is something. There really is something going on, maybe. Whoa, she's, uh, I gotta say, she, what's, she's pretty, uh, adept at acrobatics here. Oh, yips, we got, oh, come on. There's, no. Let me go. Running means you know more than you're telling us. Yep. Jakar is dead, and now you're trying to blame his murder on me. Nobody ever said he was dead. But running proves you had something to do with the boss. That's true. You don't know what you People were killed because of you. You can't prove anything. Okay. Did She's you straight feed up the nano droids to Jakar? You will answer me now. Anakin. I did feed the nano droids to Jakar. Okay. You All right. Set up your own husband to die. You're dealing with things you don't understand. Oh God. This goes very deep. Oh, you're... I think we can guess their motives easily enough. Public opinion is swaying against the Jedi. That is becoming clear. Oh, okay. Yep. So somebody was trying to. This war make the is becoming less and less popular every day it persists. Oh, war tends to kind of suck. Master, so I'm that makes we sense. Solved this case, but what if it yeah. had been a Jedi? Yes. I don't know how I would have felt if a Jedi was really behind this. There are going to be Jedi who disappoint us, Ahsoka. Oh, God. But as long as we know there are good Jedi who fight for what's right, it makes it all worthwhile. I straight up, with everything that's going to happen, I cannot believe he just looked her in the face and said that. Wow, guys, um, that was a really good one. I gotta say, at first I was like, how could you not pick back up with the Mandalore plot? Like, it just felt so um, uh, unresolved, I guess, at the end of the last one. Um, but uh, this one pulled me in, like, right away. It was a, just a great, like, crime drama. It was just really, um, you know, it, it pulled me in, like, in a classic murder mystery kind of way. Um, and I think the bigger implications are starting to thread together. Little things that we've seen throughout the series that we know are going to become a much, much, much bigger deal after the show is over. Um, you know, just kind of the, the overall plot to destroy the Jedi, take over the galaxy. Undoubtedly, this somehow goes back to Palpatine. Undoubtedly. Um, I don't know the exact thread, but everything everything in this story goes back to Palpatine. He's controlling both sides. So, like, you just know ultimately it's part of the plot. Um, we know that, we know what happens later on that basically the whole um, Republic kind of, like, basically becomes the Empire and, um, uh, Basically, everything is kind of turned on all the stuff that was <laughs> like all the 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 Jedi and everything and um, all of that becomes obsolete in favor of the Empire. 
So you could definitely see things going in that direction is my kind of long way of explaining that. Um, but wow, uh, it definitely gives off the feeling of um, going much, much, much deeper than just, um, I, I feel like everything for the last few episodes, I feel like we've kind of been working more towards like the angle of the series. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Like we've always had little hints that like, Things are going on, but it's always just kind of like, here's a little crumb. We're going to pick up with the rest of just like this, whatever was going on in between the movies and everything. And now it feels like we're starting to close in on um, all of that. Does that make sense? Um, and I know we are very quickly getting closer to um, the end of the series. Uh, I'm told that because of the you know changing hands of the rights and the companies and everything, um, I think season seven is the Disney one, and then season six is kind of like um, where everything got shifted. Some stories didn't get told, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I, I will kind of like you know keep track of all that so that I'm I'm on the right page for for season seven. Um, but dang guys, that was, that was, uh, that's another one that was a really great episode, but kind of left me with this feeling of like, it, it just really felt like they were reminding me the whole time, like, this is where we're headed. This is where we're headed. Brace yourself. And the whole time I've been watching Clone Wars, I've just been like, um, I can just kind of exist in this happy, you know, it's not happy. There's a war going on, but I can just kind of exist where all this exists for now. And I don't have to think about what comes later is just down the road. And it's a, and now that we're kind of starting to bridge that gap, lines like the one at the end of the episode are just really starting to shake me up. Um, so great episode. I'm assuming that we're going to pick back up where we left off in the next one, but I really don't know. I was really surprised that that was the last one was the end of the Mandalore stuff. Um, so who knows? Maybe we just won't pick back up. Maybe that was a one shot just to kind of come in and shake us up and show us, hey guys, we're getting closer. Brace yourselves. So, um, but either way, great, great, great episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely always bittersweet to kind of know it's coming, but, uh, yeah, we're closing in guys, we're closing in on it. Um, I think we have a few episodes left to season five and then we're off to, again, I think season six is a shorter season. So I'll get all that straightened out ahead of time, but, um, that was a great one. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. I really feel like things are heating up now. I cannot wait to see more. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.